welcome back everyone on my channel uh, from today onwards we would be covering some of the basics of uh, salesforce new product that is analytics cloud also known as a wave so in this video uh, i would be covering some of the basics of uh, salesforce wave and from there we will be working on some of the examples so uh, first we need to see let's see how uh, it works so this is one diagram I came up uh, after doing some hands-on and going through the trailhead stuff. So basically, uh, we can get data in a Salesforce wave or analytics cloud, either from Salesforce, SAP, or any CSV file. And there are so many other resources like uh, we can get data from Boomi, Informatica. So once that data comes into the analytics cloud, which I have shown using this brown rectangle. So first we need to create a data sets. So what is a data set we would be discussing in some of the next slides. And then after data set, we have to create a lens. And on the basis of lens, we can come up with the many dashboard, uh, which would be nothing but the pictorial representation of your data in your system. So, uh, very excited about this product actually it's very late uh, I am starting this uh, after the launch of uh, Dreamforce but see uh, how we can go ahead so uh, first we need to understand what is apps uh, that is a, some of the uh, terminology we have to get familiar uh, before going to the analytics so uh, apps is nothing but uh, you can say a fancy word for the folders and it get contains like data sets lenses and the dashboards uh, a little bit uh, similar to the salesforce report folder uh, if you are aware about the salesforce itself and by default you get two types of apps one is a private app and another one is shared app like name already justify its functionality like in private app only you can see uh, anything within that folder or sorry in that app and in shared app you can share it uh, anyone or anyone who have access to that shared app can see uh, components like uh, data sets lenses and the dashboard inside that app so uh, first component i would say what is data sets so uh, data set is nothing but uh, you can say a set of formatted and optimized uh, data uh, which you got from the source system now source system may be anything a uh, csv file or a salesforce or sap oracle you can connect it from any etl tool like informatica and boomi so uh, basically uh, data uh, everything whatever you are working on uh, analytics wave is on data set so analytics wave or sorry a salesforce wave is a little bit different from the salesforce reporting in a way that whenever you do any reporting on a salesforce you will always get a real time data however in case of analytics cloud we get a data on the basis of whatever data sets we have so indirectly if you want to get a latest information on your reports and dashboard in analytics wave you have to refresh the data set by the source system again so this is something uh, again this is said safe harbor i i'm not sure uh, how early this will be real time but let's hope for the best now the lenses uh, lenses uh, you can say uh, it's explorations created from data sets itself so once you get a data into the analytics cloud in the data set uh, you can create a lenses on those lenses can uh, consist of a lots of components like a uh, it consists uh, major dimensions and the filters now let's see one by one what are those so uh, measure uh, uh, as a name suggest what you want to measure uh, and uh, the difference between major and the dimensions i will say is a uh, measure is a uh, numeric values like you want to count on something you want a sum or average mean max uh, those kind of the numeric columns in your data sets you can consider as a major and other than measures everything else is a dimension like a string values and on the dimension you can create a grouping like group by stage group by owners and everything now the most important part is of course filters it's exactly like we have filters in salesforce uh, filters in the list view in the reporting so which data you want to include in your lenses 
that's what uh, lenses suggest now we also have a, a lens history also known as a exploration history so the time you go and you create on lenses and you think okay two or three steps back i was in a better position so how should i go back again uh, using a browser back button would not work so salesforce has come up with a very useful functionality so uh, this is how wave looks like uh, if you are familiar with the lightning, uh, I think uh, the wave platform uh, is built over the lightning uh, platform. So uh, these are the basic style, uh, basic sections. Uh, once you open an analytics cloud or analytics menu, these contains like we discussed apps. It has a dashboard. Uh, it has a lenses and the data sets. So if you can see, uh, I have few of the sample data sets already, uh, already available in my uh, analytics cloud, which I have already imported. So uh, let's start, uh, let's assume this as a base and let's start with creating a new lens. So this is how uh, a UI or I will say canvas uh, of the lens looks like. So uh, this is like a major. Uh, so by default, it says account of rows. So if you want to change the measure, you can say I want nothing but the sum of let's say opportunity amount. So if we see it just refreshed that sum of the opportunity uh, amount as this is a number column, you can say in a database. So it is uh, known as a measure. Other than the numeric column, we can use a grouping. So let's say I want it a uh, grouping by uh, let's say the opportunity owner. So these are all the opportunity owners we have. If you want a filter, so a uh, filter like we discussed, it's uh, nothing but the condition. So we can add some of the conditions saying I only want uh, opportunity owners all let's say except wendy and tom and if i add so if you can see uh, these two uh, uh, opportunity owners has been removed so uh, this is how the canvas or the builder uh, salesforce wave builder uh, report looks like and you can change the type of data anytime so right now by default we have bar we can just simply convert it as a donor so uh, imagine how fast this wave is uh, it has millions of data in it and considering uh, the huge data volume uh, speed is very impressive and you can use a donut let's say uh, so uh, i like actually the animations and playing around uh, this tool so we have uh, uh, it doesn't make uh, much uh, on heat map so uh, if you see, uh, these are the name of the opportunity owners and these are nothing but the legends. Uh, let's change a little bit type. Uh, let's say I want a stacked column. So we would be discussing a much more about in, in very, very detail uh, in next coming videos. So you see, this is what I was discussing and saying that this is exploration history we have. So if we just move, uh, it shows a little bit thumbnail of the status we were so let's say uh, I want to go back to the donut I, uh, or pie chart I can simply go here and see I'm come back to the pie chart so I don't have to remember anything I can just simply go on my history and I can uh, jump anywhere I want thanks very much for watching this video if you liked it please give me thumbs up if you have any feedback appreciate it till see you next time